Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're smoking up a bacon explosion. That's a sausage fatty that's stuffed and wrapped in bacon. We'll be using two pounds of pork sausage, one pound of raw bacon slices, one pound of diced cooked bacon, and eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. The first thing we're gonna do is lay out a gallon zip top bag. I'll make some very small cuts at the corners of the bag so the air can escape. Now we can place our sausage inside and begin pressing it out. You can do this entirely by hand or you can use a rolling pin to make things more even. With the sausage rolled out evenly, now we'll cut along the seams of the bag to turn the sausage out onto our work surface. To stuff this fatty, we'll start by seasoning the inside of the meat. We'll do a moderate layer of Arbutzer Smoke and Ozark Heat Rub. I also want to add some barbecue sauce to the inside so that we get that sweetness throughout. We'll combine this Chili Slinger Chipotle barbecue sauce with a little bit of honey and warm it just to make sure it's incorporated and fluid enough to brush on. So I'll go ahead and brush on a layer of the barbecue sauce. On top of the sauce, I'll add the diced cooked bacon, as well as the pepper jack cheese. And I'm leaving a little strip here at the edge so that we can seal it as we roll it up. With all of the stuffing ingredients layered on top of the sausage, we can now begin to roll the sausage up into a fatty. All right, I'm just gonna transfer it to a plate now and throw it into the fridge while we assemble our bacon weave. I have a full pound of bacon slices to assemble our bacon weave. I'll start by laying out half of the bacon horizontally on our cutting board. Now working from one side, pull back every other slice of bacon just a couple of inches. Lay one of the remaining slices of bacon on top and fold the horizontal slices back into place. Now working from the opposite side, we'll repeat the process of folding back every other slice of bacon, alternating as we go and laying in the remaining bacon vertically. Continue to repeat these steps and before you know it, you've got one big sheet of bacon weave. With the bacon weave complete, it's time to wrap the fatty. To make it a little easier to roll up, I'm gonna place a sheet of plastic wrap on top of the weave and turn it out onto my work surface. Now I'll place the fatty at one end of the weave and use the plastic to help wrap the fatty in the bacon weave. That's it for assembly. Let's head out to the cooker. We're smoking our bacon explosion at 275 degrees Fahrenheit on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet cooker. We transfer it to the top rack, close the lid and let it work its magic. You'll want to monitor the internal temperature either with a probe or with an instant read thermometer like the Maverick PT100. When that internal temperature reaches 150 degrees Fahrenheit, it's time to brush the outside with more barbecue sauce. We'll continue cooking until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, at which time you can pull it off the cooker. Now I like to let it rest about 10 minutes before slicing it and serving it. It should still be plenty hot by then. You can slice your bacon explosion up and serve it just like it is, or throw it on a bun and eat it like a burger. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments or there's anything you guys would like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, you can head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.